Hey, Sam from GMAS here today. I am going to introduce you to GMAS's multi-merge feature, which allows you to send a single campaign to multiple lists from multiple different sources. Because while sending a GMAS campaign to a single list is cool, sending to multiple lists is GMAS Voltron style. All right, let's roll. Hey, 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 hey. There are five, yes, five different ways to get people into a GMAS campaign. And the thing about multi-merge is you can blend all of these methods into a single campaign. First, you could simply enter people's addresses into the to field like you would in any normal Gmail message. Second, and most popular, is connecting a Google Sheet of contacts. Third is a behavior-based segmented campaign. That's where you send to a group of people based on the actions they took or didn't take on a prior campaign. Fourth is a search-driven list. That's where you run a Gmail search, then hit the magnifying glass icon, and GMAS builds a new list based on who comes up in the search results. And fifth is reusing a list from a prior campaign. You can grab those lists from the GMAS dashboard, or using the From a List option here. All these methods work differently, so as you might imagine, it was incredibly complex to get them to work together for multi-merge on a single campaign. But AJ did it. Was it difficult, AJ? <laughs> Quick side note, I had to ask AJ to make that video. Like, I cashed in one of my personal favors from the CEO of my company for that. Which is why my career is going places. Anyway, now we're ready for a multi-merge campaign. Adding multiple lists to one campaign. For my example, I'm going to email people in my area asking them to bring me beer while I'm housebound watching the kids. So I'm going to connect my first list. I'm going to use a Google Sheet of Contacts here that I've called Local Buddies. And now I'm going to bring in my second list, and I'm going to use a behavior-based segmentation from another campaign. Let's say I once sent an email to people in town asking if they were cool. And I will segment based on everyone who replied to that email. And finally, let me throw in a few stray standalone addresses. Using merge tags. So here's the big question. How do you use merge tags here like people's first names? Especially if your lists come from different Google Sheets that use different column names, what are you going to do? Well, we prepared for that. With GMAS's multi-merge, you can include up to three variables in each merge tag to handle this situation. So, the first Google Sheet I used called the column that had people's first names, first name. But the behavior-based segmentation came from a campaign connected to a Google Sheet, and that called the column F name. Well, when I type a left curly brace, I see all of the merge tags from all of the connected sheets. So I can start stacking them up and I'll stack up to three. I'll go first name, then I'll do F name, and then I'll do a fallback value here of buddy. That will cover all my bases. What about duplicates? If the same email address is in multiple lists that you've connected to a multi-merge campaign, GMAS will see that and it will only send the email once to that person. There is an exception and it gets a little complicated, but let's say you connect a Google Sheet and it has the same email address a couple of times. And when you connected that sheet, you checked the box to send to duplicate addresses. GMAS will respect your wishes there and it will send to that person, in that case, multiple times. Automations. You can use auto follow-ups on your multi-merge campaign and you can continue to use all the different merge tags from all your different connected Google Sheets across your auto follow-up campaign. You can also set up multi-merge campaigns as recurring campaigns. And if you choose to repeat to new rows, GMAS will check all the Google Sheets you've connected for new rows and it will send to any new addresses. And a whole lot more. Reporting will still work as expected for these campaigns. If you chose to update your Google Sheet with campaign data, GMAS will update any connected Google Sheets when the recipient in one of those sheets takes action in your multi-merge campaign. And you can download reports for your multi-merge campaigns that combine all your different lists into one place so you can get a total campaign overview. You can send to multiple lists using the GMAS API. 
just assign all the lists to the list address variable in the campaign drafts method. And finally, you can run behavior-based segmentation follow-ups to multi-merge campaigns. And you can keep on using the stack of merge data variables in your behavior-based segmentation follow-ups inception style. You're all set. So that's GBAS multi-merge. Use it to send to a bunch of different types of lists while still being able to use the mail merge personalization and all the campaign features you love. I've linked to a blog post in the description that basically puts everything I've covered here into writing if you need to reference it or sort of need longer form or screenshot versions of any of this. And if you found this helpful, or I suppose even if you didn't, please take a moment to subscribe to GMAS's channel. We're putting out lots of great videos here about GMAS techniques, about cold email and email marketing strategy, and well, because my email campaign that I sent throughout this video was effective, I got some beer and I'll toast to that. Yes, and because this beer is actually a prop for the video, I'm going to expense it. How do you feel about that, AJ? Yeah, I'm, I'm never getting promoted.